Hello and welcome to this first look at the Dreistenhof map. So it's quite a small map this one with only 25 arable fields and 7 grass fields. We just go have a quick look around it and see what we can find. We're going to use the Land Rover for this. FPS is up on the screen as per normal. So we're starting down in the shop, which is right next to one of the cell ports. Which has some rather nice detail to it, as we can see. So big silos, tip point there. I have to watch that one with some of the bigger trailers. So we're going to go out through this way and head upwards. dead end this way apparently. Always worth seeing how the map boundary is hidden. Hidden the good way. Can't get near it. I'm not seeing any painted boundaries there as well which is even better. Pass the paint the boundary test on this side of the map at least. Cut down through the woodland here. See what we've got. Lots of trees for those that look forestry. Some buildings in there as well. See how much off roading we can do. Ourselves a storage barn in here on Grassfield 7. It's quite a nice flat field. So we're going right around the outside of the map here. Comes to one of the arable fields. Not rectangle there, a little bit of an odd shape to them. Another storage barn on the side there, a bit of a run down one. Okay, no sign of the dreaded painted boundaries on here. <coughs> Another one there. A bit more regular shape, some of them. The map but probably isn't going to suit the big equipment. Nice big water feature there to fall into. Inside the nice uh, hilly field. Takes us down to one of the cell points. sort of in track water features about here. Come back to the farmyard. So nice big flat area in this BGA, ready to put your clamps. Clamps aren't installed on new farmer mode here. To put them in yourself as to what size you want. Again, more building space down here. Got a map boundary down that way, which again seems to be hidden nicely. This is running off my textures I've got installed. We've got the horse yard here. Horses and sheep down here using the in-game ones. So we turn right. 
right out of this one. And right on the edge of the map again. A few bigger fields in the middle here. So it's a small map. For a new barn storage space about the machinery or straw. How many of them are seasons masters I don't know without checking. Animal dealers up there. <laughs> nice small map for small equipment, this one. If you want to bring the big new Holland Combine on here, that'll fit, but um, so it's more suited to use smaller stuff. Turn the traffic off on here. So, one of our other cell points up here. Came with the low building over it. So you must be careful with some of the lorry trailers. That one. Somebody's been putting helium in the car tires again. Oops there. This takes us round and back, heading down towards where the yard is in the village. Gives you an idea just how small this map is. Some more grassland there. Down the dirt track this time. Then over to the left, that should bring us into the farmyard. Takes us through the pond to get there. Let's see what we can find in the yard. So heading into the Shed, Coon Mower, Fent 515, Vicon Fanex, Tedder, the Salford Plough, probably one of my least favourite ploughs in the game. Pottinger Rake, all tucked up in there. Head into the cow shed. Which has got a real old world feel to it. Clean your space around here. Milk tank stuck in the end there. Abs and drill and row cultivator. Dolly trailer there, nothing else tucked up in this barn. All nice looking old stall buildings though. Got the pig yard over here, the farm soils was just next to us. Proper rundown type farm buildings, some of these. Don't look out of place. Chicken stuck up the corner here. You're starting with everything you need on new farmer here. So the FPS is nice and steady on here. Tucked away in here we should find boys and combine and a forage wagon. So we really are starting with a good selection. Oh dear, static pigs. Static livestock is not one of my favourite things to find tucked up on a map. So 
What else we got tucked behind the wires here? We have a bowler in this one. Behind this half door. So, so far, I've only seen one tractor. That's just the back of the other shed. So, let's just have a look on here and see if there are any more. I'll go through the garage rather than that way. Okay, so we've got some more tractors tucked in somewhere. 511 and 7210 Pro. We need to find boys on. So we found all the machinery, but we haven't found is two of the tractors. Prison cell beneath the house, sir. That's one of them. So where are the other two hiding? In there. So there's the other two tractors. 511 with a loader and the 7210 Pro with the workshop on the end here, standard in game one. And the 511 got loader brackets on. So we've got loader brackets, but we don't actually have a loader to use with the brackets, which is an interesting one. That would have been useful. Obviously the farm silo there. When it comes to prices of the land, you'd like to think they weren't too expensive. So we're starting with field 7 and 8 there. And grass field 6 plus all the yard. Just pick a nice big area like 19, 387,580 pounds, 90,000, 81. So there's a few cheap ones if you want to do a start from scratch on here, depends on what you like playing like. You can't buy the outside of the map, which means you can't buy the roads either. Not on all of it anyway. So you can't buy anything in the town. There's a few bits you can buy and a few bits you can't buy. You can't buy the sell points. Nor the outside. So that's this map. It's a nice small map nice feel to it um, and if you like using small old equipment this is probably the map for you so I believe it may actually be seasons ready which we can just quickly check on has the snow mask added to it according to the mod hub and it is for all platforms so what I haven't got installed on here is seasons to test that one so I will just install seasons on here we'll take another look and see what happens I'll rejoin you in a moment okay so we now got seasons installed and I've added a layer of snow on here just to see why stuff is masked in the yard here Quite a big mask on some of these. So I certainly seem to mask all the main buildings here, which is good. It's certainly worth checking after 
one of the previous so-called Seasons Ready maps we looked at, though that one was not on Mod Hub. This one seems to be fine. Anything else has been masked. Yep, looks like um, I'm really busy with the snow masks on here. So the BGA hasn't been masked. Well, fill point has, but the rest of it hasn't, so that'll come when we've got our own silage clamps in. The barns have been, which is good. The roads haven't been snow masked, which is an uh, interesting feature. Which has had a little bit of fun to it. Cell point has been. So, so far so good it's all looking good for seasons on here as well so that's where we're going to leave this video so for now I'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one goodbye for now